I'm in the pursuit of happiness. What well, whole point is this? The sun has been freaking out. The weather's been freaking out. And now all the pro weather people are like, hey, remember when we said hurricane season was going to be um active? Well, now we changed it to hurricane season's going to be really active. So I'm just letting you know, man. I'm passing on the information to you. And you can do whatever the hell you want to with it, you know? Or you can be one of those people who's like, it floods all the time in Florida, or it floods all the time in Massachusetts, or it floods all the time in New Orleans, or it floods all the time in Austin, or it floods all the time in wherever the hell I'm at. Man, it's like, why? I don't know. I'm saying, uh, whatever, man. Whatever. Stay cool. Science is like magic and magic tricks. Astronomy is much like Hogwarts. A school of wizardry and science craft. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. This is a Thor News presentation. Doesn't matter what I believe. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Guys, I'm bringing the party to you. Oh, joy. Noah updates hurricane season forecast, raises predicted number of storms. And not only did they do it, but like the Weather Channel upped their ante. And then like the Colorado Hurricane Club Association upped their ante. And like everybody who's jockeying in on hurricanes was like, Oh wait, let me change my bet. A month or two into hurricane season, it's going to get a lot more hurricane-y than we originally thought. And it's like, well we thought it was going to zig, but it zagged. So we're changing our stuff. We're moving the goalposts, bro. Just thought we'd let you know. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to read part of this article. We're like Alabama Rocks magazine or whatever the hell this thing's called. Hey, guess what? The Atlantic hurricane season is nearing its busiest phase, and forecasters think it could be one of the most active in years, despite the lack of storms on the horizon. Horizon, horizon, horizon. NOAA updated its 2016 Atlantic hurricane season outlook first issued in May, and said there is a high probability of a near average or above average season, or a high probability of holy sh WTF is going on with these hurricanes. Forecasters dropped the chances of a below average season to only 15%. That's interesting. So you got a 70% chance of 12 to 17 named storms. You got five or eight hurricanes, two to four major hurricanes. See what happened is an average Atlantic hurricane season has 12 named storms, 6 hurricanes, and 3 major hurricanes. Well, we've raised the numbers because some conditions now in place are indicative of a more active hurricane season, such as El Nino ending, weaker vertical wind shear, and weaker trade winds over the central tropical Atlantic, and a stronger West African monsoon. Oh, yeah, whatever's been going on over Africa has been wild crazy. It's like the Tasmanian devil is all up in its business. I'm going to speak all the hip teenager lingo because I'm Cray A-F-R-N-B. You see, yeah, I guess, man, I should be way more serious because it's like, this is serious shit. <sighs> However, less conductive ocean temperature patterns in both the Atlantic and Eastern subtropical North Pacific combined with stronger wind shear and sinking motion in the atmosphere over the Caribbean Sea are expected to prevent the season from becoming extremely active. There have been five named storms in the Atlantic so far in 2016. Hurricane season runs through November 30th. You know, I guess sometimes people just think YouTube is like Burger King, where you can have it your way. I don't know, man. Here's the deal. I did this report. <laughs> it is early Saturday morning, late Friday night. I'm feeling a bit saucy. If you think I'm saucy now, and when the sun goes crazy, 
Earth weather goes crazy. People go crazy. And I act crazy. So I'm going to extra crazy this one up just for you. So I'll see you there. Bucko, bag of beans. That don't make no damn sense. See? It was just a preview. And I may sound a bit flippant on this subject, but I want to note the A, I guess due to the election season, and the constant divide and conquer pushed upon us by the media since 9-11 and ratcheting up more every day. People are like really pissed off and angry or mad or pissed off. Like the video I did a while back, where I was like, hey, y'all, they say ghosts are going to be underwater in 100 years. People are like, fear monger, you suck Al Gore's big toe, buddy. And I'm like, hey, dickweeds. I've done like 300 videos talking about how I believe the sun is the dominant factor in all the weird weather. So it's like, why are the silly people who are so quick to give their angry opinion the least informed? And then there's some weird sect of the flat earthers who come to my videos and are like, lies, you lie. Research flat earth. They're like evangelical flat earth salesmen. It's like, look, buddy, man, uh, when I say the weather is weird and the sun is acting weird, I am neither throwing my two cents behind the round earth or the flat earth. So even though I'm a North Jedi Christian, you don't hear me preaching about my own personal belief too often because I don't think anybody out there is going to believe exactly what I believe. And so it's just going to make people mad because there are a lot of people out there where they're like, you got to believe what I can believe or I'm going to hate you and call you a shill and say you're evil or dumbass. I'm like, holy shit. God bless you. Peace out. Pay attention or don't. And it's your life. Do what you want. I love you either way. And I forgive you. I hope you'll do the same. Peace out. You know what I do? I do it for the big YouTube pennies. Anyway, I do it for all the death threats. No. Why do I do this shit? Oh, because it makes me feel like a superhero. And I make a lot of people laugh. While informing and teaching them at the same time. I'm in the pursuit of happiness.